Elsewhere, governors of the Lake Chad Basin have unanimously agreed that the war against terrorism would have to be fought from all fronts for peace to return to the region. The governors from Nigeria, Chad, Niger and Cameroon were speaking at the end of a two-day conference where they've been discussing issues affecting the Lake Chad Basin, climate change and security. The special representative of the United Nations Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel, Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chambers, on his part admits that Boko Haram still constitutes a threat to the stability and survival of people in the Lake Chad area. The commander of the multinational joint task force, Major General Lucky Rabo, confirms that a large number of Boko Haram terrorists have now moved to the Lake Chad Islands. Boko Haram is by no means defeated, but it is certainly weakened. Um, and the fight needs to be pursued. We are very encouraged from what we have heard from the force commander of the MNJTF, and we want to assure him of the continued support of the United Nations and the international community in this legitimate fight to rid uh, the Lake Chad Basin area of Boko Haram. Today's initiative on the part of the governors is to see how at the local level they can begin to deal together collaboratively with the consequences of Boko Haram terrorism and violence. And that means that in the area of humanitarian uh, work, early recovery, uh, development, how can they begin to re-establish uh, the contacts that used to be uh, there? Uh, you know that currently the Boko Haram, um, many of them have moved to the islands and that's why we're pushing them, taking them there. Yes, there have been some um, you know, pockets of uh, IED attacks, suicide bomb blasts and all that. That will, you know, perhaps continue for a while. But that's not an indication of as to the strength and resilience of the Boko Haram terrorists. Rather, it's, um, it's, it's a sign of um, you know, looking for means of, uh, of survival. Uh, all the confines of uh, our various um, spaces, talking about the countries of the Lichard Basin, that we have total control of them. Um, that, that there is a return of civil authority in those areas so that we begin to uh, bring concrete development and progress to the people.